Okay, so I um, did a video just not long ago talking about the uh, home values here, you know, somewhat. I touched on it because the question was, you know, given everything that's going on, uh, would now be the best time to buy? And when you're looking at it from an interest uh, point of view, getting a bank loan, things like that is probably easier. Now, the caveat is if you're someone who still has your job, right? Um, because that's going to obviously be a big factor. If you are someone that's not, that's somewhat immune from what's going on in terms of employment, then obviously it's a different story. You're able to do a lot more. But this video is not really talking about any of that stuff. What this video is talking about is the fact that Tacoma is now no longer the affordable county. Pierce County, I should say, is no longer the affordable county. Now, keep in mind, not long ago, uh, we were probably the best deal in terms of price and things like that. There was really no other more affordable place other than Thurston County, right? Um, every county around us uh, literally was a little bit more expensive than uh, here in Tacoma. And I said, that's not always going to be the case because, you know, obviously things change. And as the city becomes more and more um, uh, popular, then you're going to see a lot of changes. I'm trying to do some stuff while I'm actually doing this too. So you're going to see a lot of changes. You're going to see a lot of things that happen and the, the county starts to move up a couple of ticks. And so you're starting to see that now. Now it's still going to be a little bit more affordable than say King County, but it's not like it used to be. Back in the day, it used to be where you could buy two houses in Tacoma for the price of one house in Seattle. That's really not the case anymore. Um, hold on. That's not the case any longer. It hasn't been the case for probably about a year. Uh, given the correction after everything was corrected in Seattle and the big, huge balloon prices went down, um, really you could still get, I mean, it's still a huge number, but it's not double the amount anymore. Um, Seattle, you're looking at about 700 and something thousand on average. Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to find houses lower than that or higher than that. But typically, you're talking a single family home, not a condo, not a townhouse. Uh, you're going to be at least in the sixes or sevens on average. Other than that, probably not going to happen. And if it does, it's going to be a home that needs a lot of work on it. Right? When we're talking about... Um, Snohomish County, it still had a little bit more in terms of value. A little bit more in Snohomish County is going to be Everett. <clears throat> the prices up there were a little bit more than Tacoma, right? And then there's Kitsap County. Kitsap County was lower, then it got higher. And the reason why was because Kitsap County is away from Seattle. You have to take a ferry to get there. I mean, you can drive there, but it's going to take a while. Um, and driving there directly from Seattle just isn't going to happen. And so it is one of those places that really took a while to gain traction. But if there's a fast ferry connecting from there to Seattle in just really no time, it would be faster to get from there versus Tacoma to Seattle. So from there to Seattle, Kitsap County, it would be a lot closer, right? So they did get a fast ferry. And so all of those cities over there started to develop and the price and the value started to go up. So it made Tacoma really the most affordable option in the entire area with the exception of Thurston County, which would be Olympia. Okay, now that has changed. So now we are much more, We call it, to buy a home here costs more money than it would be in Thurston County still, but also now Kitsap County. So Pierce County has moved up and taken over the position that Kitsap County was in. Now, of course, that could change because Kitsap County has been below and above before. 
But now Tacoma, Pierce County, is catching up to Snohomish County, Everett, and you're seeing them jockey for that second position. Now, keep in mind, King County is a big county. Uh, you're talking Bellevue, you know, Mercer Island's in there. You're talking uh, Seattle. So it's a big county. And so the averages are going to be kind of skewed because you're looking at places like, you know, Medina, Medina or Medina, which is where Bill Gates live and Jeff Bezos. Of course, you're going to have a huge inflated amount. Mercer Island, all those places are expensive. Bellevue. So you take that into account, then you take in some of the more affordable homes in Seattle and you get that rough average. Well, Pierce County is now going to move up quite a bit and could be right in line with right under King County. So now the average home price in Tacoma is at 417000 Now remember... It wasn't that long ago I said that I found homes on the block here, literally up the street, that were at 400000 They were brand new. There were two brand new homes, literally this close apart from each other. Um, and they were built on one lot that one house was built on. They sold for $400,000 each. There was a house that was remodeled, had been here for a bit, remodeled, and it sold for 400000 and something thousand. So just in this area, it was 400000 Now the average... In Tacoma is at 417, the highest it has ever been in the history of the city. So even though there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now, and you know, people have to social distance and all that stuff, that still hasn't stopped people from buying homes in e in the entire region. And it hasn't, because people have a lot more time on their hands, so they can look more. And it hasn't stopped the value of homes from going up. So they're still going up and we're not even in the summer months yet. The summer is really the best gauge of time because obviously it's sunny, people are able to go and then you still have to look into everything that's going on right now. It's kind of keeping people from really having a chance to go and look at things. So once things start to clear out a little bit and as we get closer to the summer months, it wouldn't surprise me if we're not in the 430 range by the end of summer, if not more, because there's so many different things that are happening right now in Tacoma that's happening at the right time. A lot of great things. So I see that as, and, and the housing stock is not as plentiful. You don't have a lot of houses on the market. So that hasn't changed and given the uncertainty of things people are still holding on to their homes a lot more even so so again if you're looking for a home i know things are difficult <laughs> probably now would be the time that you might want to take a crack at it before it gets too crazy but 417 right now is the average hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like share subscribe join our discord and until next time i will see you take care